What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video I would like to share with you some experience of mine, okay? The, this is why you should always keep your WordPress website updated. Besides security problems and performance problems, we have a problem right here. This website are not receiving updates for the last two years, it's from one of clients of mine and we have a lot of problems right here. For example, if you try to edit some page, this is what you see into this page, okay? And how old this site was? To have earlier, the actual version of WooCommerce is 7.8 and this site was using the 4.0. The actual version of Yoast SEO, recently updated by me some minutes ago, was is 20 and this site was in the 14 version. It's almost years and years ago, okay? So this is really, really dangerous for your site security and performance. But before I can continue showing how to solve this into a safer method, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours, okay? You have no idea how much that helps us. But let's get this started. Very first thing to do is locate the problems, okay? You can go to our WordPress dashboard and update and you can start counting how many things you have to update. But before doing this, it's always good to contact your host company and ask for a host database backup. If you do not know how to do backups or you want to do yourself on WordPress, we have a video tutorial explaining how to do backups. Just go to YouTube and search for Visual Moto Backup you're gonna be able to find this video. And after this, you're gonna be able to select the, to have a safer point to go back, okay? Because while you're updating two old websites, you have a lot of problems, okay? So what to do right now? Very first thing to do, it's review the site healthy, okay? Some days ago, I reviewed this website healthy and it was using the PHP 5 version, which is really, really bad. So go to WP dashboard tools, review the site healthy status and make sure that your PHP is on version 7.5 7 or 8 at least. Okay, you're going to be right here into the critical issues. This website was fixed, so you're no longer gonna be able to see this, but you still can see a couple of issues right here that you may need to solve, okay? After this, go to your plugins, just like I did it, and update the plugins. So, backups, site health, update PHP, update plugins. Review if some plugins are affecting your site. For example, this plugin no longer exists. It has been disabled in 2021, as far as I can remember. So we're gonna need to disable this and delete. This is a um, quite important issue, okay? So you need to review what is happening or not. Cache plugins, while you're doing an update on your site, it's really bad, so disable cache plugins as well. What else we can do right here? We can start disabling plugins in order to make the update process safer. No need to worry if you have some data into this plugin, you will not lose it. As soon as you reactivate the plugin, you're gonna be able to see the data once again. So let's continue. Now it's time for the teams. Make sure that you have only two or at maximum of three teams active on your site. As you can see right here, we have a lot of teams, all are outdated. We're gonna be deleting every one Just try to keep only the WordPress default team and your favorite team, your premium team, and make sure that this team is updated as well. In this case, the user is using our Visual Motor Hair team that is almost two years outdated, in fact. So we're gonna need to activate another team, delete this old one, and install a new one, okay? Normally, premium teams have an auto updater, but Maybe because this site is too outdated, the auto updater isn't enabled at all, okay? If you have any issue while in this process, maybe you see a photo error, um, some, some white screen, you can go to your file manager into the WordPress hosting, find out the public HTML, HTML, okay? 
and right here we can move to WordPress content and right here you can delete the themes and plugins in a book okay this can make you save a lot of time and of course prevent a lot of issues so let me delete this ones right here let me show you so as you can see it makes the process really really faster okay so I'm gonna delete the 2022 and only keep the 2023 I'm gonna activate this thing in order to delete or hair WordPress theme. If you are using some premium theme that isn't updated, just contact the developers, okay? It may be some issue on your site, on your server, so they're gonna be able to give you the latest theme version. I'm gonna be installing the new updated theme. So I'm gonna move to add new, upload theme. Select the theme .zip file and gonna be installing. I will not I will try to not cut the video so you can see the process really happening okay so I know that a lot of people be afraid of doing things like this so I would like to share the process from the beginning to the end okay so if any error happens we can fix it together but let me know into the comments if you have some issues so I can help you with now let's go back to the plugins that I would like to delete some plugins okay Normally some WordPress teams will fear some plugins, okay, into the installation package. So I'm gonna be deleting some plugins right here just to make sure that I'm gonna be installing the latest one. Let's delete some plugins. Remember that you always can do this into your file manager if you prefer, okay? You can move to the, the file manager, publish HTML, WP content, plugins, and delete the plugins from here. It's easier, but normally I do recommend that you do this into the WordPress dashboard just to make sure that you know what you are doing you can do the things by parts and have a better understanding of what is affecting your site or not okay i think we already have deleted a couple of plugins okay now the final thing to do before starting review if the issue is fixed or not it's click right here update woocommerce database from time to time woocommerce plugin requests this for you okay The process takes a while but it happens into the site background so you can keep doing things on your site while this update happens okay so what else you can do now it's up to your team okay but once you have installed a visual model team you're gonna be able to see an install plugins field right here As we can see, we had some errors into the installation process, so it looks like we're gonna be need to install this one by one. So let's get started with the team options, for example. So it's all installed now, okay, we have all set. Now let's review if we can edit the site, if it's all right with the site or not. Now it's up to you to test and review if everything goes right or not. But normally, after all the updates, all should be going well. But let's explore and have you.
it looks like it's all right. This website is using WP Bakery as page builder, but all seems to be working fine. Let's check if the WordPress, Gutenberg or Block Editor is working as well. And this is how we did handle a very outdated website, okay? But as explained, every site have his, hist his history and his way to fix. So let me know into the comments, maybe I can help you with it. Let's check if the editor is loading. It's all right, it's all right right here. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes, review our borderless free WordPress plugin, the Enzo WordPress team that is free as well. Don't forget to always check your site healthy, always review for updates to avoid issues like this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this content with a friend of yours, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!